This is the uh, profile. Once I'm done routing the edges here, it's kind of, I guess, in a vase shaped profile before I cut it out on the bandsaw. You know, to be sure that you get the right curve in the right outer and upper edge, I really clipped the template on a lot of times back and forth and held a piece up, held this piece on the edge of it. You might want to do a cutout with a paper so you make sure you get the right edge. Don't go by what I'm doing now. Um, so I went back and forth, back and forth, laid it down on my templates before I routed it to make sure I didn't get the wrong curve or the wrong which side's upper and which side's lower. So at least do a maybe a little paper cutout like this and attach it to the front of the template board and then and then put it in place multiple times and then lay it down on lay it down on your piece next. As far as the um, router bit sequence, I changed it a little bit from what I'd done previously and the first cut I did was using this cove bit into this area here. Now the second cut I tried to take this piece and do this cut but the top edge kind of chipped out right along right along the flat top edge here. It chipped out along this corner here so I actually had to come back with a bit. I think I used a bigger one than this but and flush trimmed it and made it a little bit higher to take away that chip. Then I came back and I used this piece but I set it down a little bit so the top didn't hit and brought it over fairly close. And then the third spot I believe, the fourth spot, that was the third spot, okay, the fourth spot would be about right here. I used this little quarter inch shank bit to get up under there. And then the last one I turned it upside down and used the big bit that's on my table currently. It's kind of kind of shaped like this one, only not quite this big, with the bearing on the bottom and kind of turned the template upside down and ran it like that, or like that. So that was kind of the sequence. It varied a little bit as I went. It wasn't exactly how I'd originally planned on the curves and finding the bits. This time I've written down the bits for my next time. Last last time I did this I didn't write down which bits I used and I had a hard time trying to figure out a couple of the, the bits for using it, but this time I think I've got it for future records. These books right here kind of have help you out. Uh, Glenn Huey, um, I think his is more in depth than the Shaping Wood by Liney Bird. Liney Bird does mostly the routing of the gooseneck portion, but more of the case construction and the routing and things are included in here. Liney Bird has his own special bit, or he used to, I don't think it's, I don't think you can obtain it anymore, where it had one bit that would cut the entire profile. It's a big, you know, a big multi-shaped bit, taking out a lot of wood at once. But anyway, that would probably be a lot more expensive than just doing your individual bits like this. And there's also an article that might help you for this, and that's from uh, Fine Woodworking Magazine, July-August issue 2012. It has a volume on here too, let's see. This is page 74 down here, titled Curved Moldings on the Router Table. And so that's also useful. Yeah, they used a different kind of overhead pin arm. They used a piece of PVC pipe. I kind of like my roller better.